we just rolled the tire around and I don't know if you guys can see here but there is a nail in the tire look what's happening here <laughs> I am making an experiment. It looks like I get a coffee this morning. It is alive. <laughs> Hot. Good morning world. Welcome back to the channel. It is day 19 on the Trans Euro Trail, riding off-road 2,000 miles through England and Wales to reach the border to Scotland. We are here right on the edge of the Peak District National Park, camping in a field that yesterday had alpacas roaming free in it, but they're over there at the moment, just chilling, and this camp is on top of a hill, and it's just spectacular views from here. And this campsite here is considered bike friendly which is really cool so if you're in a group of like six people you can ring them up and you can save your space here because we realized as well as bikers it's sometimes a little bit difficult to find proper campsites like a lot of camping places they just take motorhomes or people which are staying for two days so this campsite here if you're a biker is the right campsite to go it's absolutely amazing it was a really peaceful night of sleep a really good rest but now we've got coffees brewed so it's time to get back on the trail so let me show you guys where we're heading today so we are here and today we are going to be heading east to explore the peak district national park starting first here in cheshire and then heading into the county of derbyshire it will be a super exciting day today. I can't wait to get started. We still have to pick up everything and it's already eight o'clock, so better hit the trails, let's go. Yeah, thanks so much. You have a really, really beautiful place here. You're beautiful people as well, thank you. See you guys. Oh, so nice, really so nice and friendly and just inspiring to us, you know? what they have created there now with their uh, camping and such a beautiful spot you know oh, absolutely love it and as well like the the fact that they love animals so much is so nice they are really 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 cute oh we miss you already <laughs> yeah it's a little slice of paradise i would have stayed there for forever but obviously we are on the move yeah that's always the thing when you're on a trail hey gotta keep moving gotta keep on gotta keep moving on to the next place and this hill that the campsite's situated on is called the cloud when we were up at the top you really felt like you were on top of everything around wow yeah up there the campsite is up there guys yeah like <laughs> on the edge of a cliff <laughs> cool i said to them if they ever need like sort of uh, house sitters uh, when they want to go on a trip you would be happy to house sitter for them <laughs> yeah so then we can look after the alpacas and the meerkats and just uh, yes. spend all day cuddling them yeah but today we've got some mountain passes to go over we've got some beautiful hilly trails to do yeah and hopefully some beautiful riding ahead well we're just about to come into the peak district national park so yeah, I think we're going to have some really good riding ahead. Let's do it, hey? So we're just arriving in the village of Flash. And as you can see here on the sign, this village is the highest village in Britain at 1,518 feet. I don't know how many meters that is. <laughs> Just under 400 meters, I think. Oh, okay. So there you go. This is about as high up in the sky as villages get in England. <laughs> cool. And look, there's a pub here. And a church. Beautiful little church. Yeah, it's definitely a very cute little village, eh? Not a very big village, but it's a cute village. <laughs> and all the houses get a really nice view. Oh yes, we're coming up into the mountains of the Peak District National Park. Yeah! Oh, and there's the views. So pleasant riding here, seriously. It's just like very windy, up and down. 
epic views, all what you want, really, all what you want. Yeah, at the moment we're heading over this pass and over to the town of Buxton. And in Buxton, we're going to be picking back up the trail and heading off road. But look at this, guys. This is England. Yay! Yeah, this is our first national park back in England. Yes. And actually, the Peak District National Park is one of the first two national parks created in the UK. The Peak District and the Lake District were the first two parks. Oh, this person looks like they're pushing their car. Okay, should we ask him if he needs help? Yeah, yeah, of course. He got a flat battery. Ah, okay. Should we try to go that way to start? Okay, okay. ready? Three, two, one, go. Bloody hell, that's a heavy car. Three. Wow. wow. Okay. One, two, three, go. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. Keep your brake on as well. Okay. Yeah, okay, like this is good. Yes, yes, let's yeah. do it like this. Okay, one, two, three. Here you go, you're on the road. If you go in second gear and then let the clutch out. Second gear? Oh, it's automatic. If it's automatic, is it possible to jump start it? No, I mean like uh, to uh, jump start. There is no clutch. There oh. is no clutch at all. So oh. how do you jump start an automatic? I don't know. <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't have a jump lead or anything. No, I don't want to close. Uh, no, I mean, I would say the best thing is if we put it back over there, because at the moment now you're on the road. I think it's better to be off the road, hey? Just it. It's just <laughs> out in it. Oh, no. Okay, okay. So. Hello. I think their battery's dead. Oh, you've got a jump start kit. Oh, oh cool. Amazing. Yeah, I think it's about something like 1500. Oh, 1500? Yeah. I think that'll be all right. I've worked some cars for years. Okay. okay. <laughs> it's been there, bought it because it's so flat. Press the red one. Okay. And hold it. And it gives it a bit more of a charge. Oh, okay. okay. We've been camped here all night. All oh, right. So we've had it plugged into the cigarette lighter all night. I think it's just cleaned it. Oh, but with an automatic, is there no way of doing that? You can't jump start them. No. Yeah. There you go. Right, don't turn it off for a bit. Thank you very much. Yeah, awesome. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Good job. Good job. Teamwork. Teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work. Well, that was lucky those guys had a bit of battery starter hey i tell you what those jump starter packs are really valuable kit actually i don't know why we've never had one and we we went flat with bumblebee on the around the world trip so many times and then we went on this trip and we're like ah oh, we don't need one so we have reached the town of buxton and this building next to us here is called the devonshire dome and apparently this is the largest unsupported dome in the world I don't really know what that really means, but you can see it just there. And I think it's used as like a venue for weddings and stuff. And here's the center of Buxton. Oh wow, and look at this hotel. You won't find that on Airbnb. Not with our price range slider from 20 to 30 pounds a night. Well, look at this. Whoa, big railway arch. Hey, look, there's a weather spoon. No, come on, we've got some trail to do, Lavi. Come on. Oh yeah, that's more like it. Got some more, more advanced bikers passing. Whoa, look at these guys. <laughs> that's what real off-road bikers look like. <laughs> Not us with our van vans. <laughs> hey, I can stand up too. Whoa, na 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 I'm a real off-road biker now. It already got very, very, very rocky very quickly. Bloody hell.
Oh my god. Seriously, that's a proper, proper workout in the morning here. Whoa. Absolute madness already. Yeah. <laughs> Oh god, after doing so much road riding, what we done this morning, it's like, it's always a surprise how hard core these like off-road tracks are. Crazy man. So we just stopped because I felt like my tire pressure was down at the back a bit um, and I just checked it and it's literally at six and a half PSI and we just rolled the tire around and I don't know if you guys can see here but that's the problem right there there is a nail in the tire so it's not really very good is it I don't think we've ever taken this wheel off before have we no we took your one off and greased that all up but my one's never been taken off so I don't know how hard it's going to be to do it do you think it would be a good idea to go back to um and do it there. Yeah, look, as soon as I pump it up, so I got it up to 14 psi, mm -hmm. but then you let it go, and then 13, so it's just dropping back down again after you pump it up. It's Navi and Ollie here. I think we have a nail in our tyre, so I was just wondering if you guys were around to try and repair the tube. We're um, like about 50 minutes away, it's still got some pressure in it. So I think we'll just ride it back to you. Hello. We should be able to limp it back over to yours and then and then at least then we, we've got like better tools to work with. All right, thank you so much. All right, see you in a bit. Bye bye. Hello. Um, yeah, it looks like there's a nail in it. What are you doing? Yeah. You're doing the tat, are you? Yeah, yes. And are you, are you traveling along it or are you just looping? Or you... No, we're traveling along it. So we're starting in Dover and we're going to the end of the Scottish border. Wow. So we're doing the whole thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Did the wheels loop, and now we just come back into England, and we're heading through peaks and all the way up, up in the top. Sheffield and then yeah. You're going to enjoy it when you get the moors are great. Yeah. It's, a lot of my friends ride with tube. Yeah. Uh -huh. And they don't often get nailed. Okay. Okay. So you probably picked it up on the road oh. mm. rather than the trail. Okay. That's what I would expect. Okay. Yeah. Have you been? North off road before. Uh, no. Oh, you're going to love it. Yeah. All the way across Yorkshire. Yeah. And, and then when you get to the Lake District, it's just a lot of trails, a lot of beautiful places. Nice. Yeah, it's 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 nice. Yeah. yeah. My license this year. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yes. You went straight off road. What? Yeah. Well, it's a lot of struggling, you know, a lot of struggling, falling over, yeah. all of these things. But it's fun because it's as close to the nature as yeah. you can get. You know, you don't really see anybody. You know, you're just on your own pretty much. Yes, yes. Even on a Sunday, it's quiet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Well, well done for getting this off. Oh. If you've got through Wales, uh -huh. you've done the toughest part. Yeah. If you've walked out coming up this in the dry because that in the wet is uh -huh. horrendous. Yeah. yeah. Those rocks, rocks are big. polished. Yeah. yeah. Especially because we did like some road riding to uh, link back up to the trail. And I was in my mind like road riding, nice. And then suddenly like this one, you know. <laughs> Does it get that rough like a lot, like with those rocks? No, that's quite, that is quite a tricky that's one. A okay. Lot of the time, you know, you're on loose terrain like this. Yeah, okay. If you come through Wales, you'll enjoy it now. It's less stressful. Yeah. You will get some challenging stuff. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But it's always wider. Yeah. Okay. So there's always more, more rocks. Yeah. 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 And not, nothing like the steep rocky stuff in Wales. Okay. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Really. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, he's a proper off-roader, hey? Yeah. right in front of us they came and found us on the way nice got a three-wheeled trike look at that 
It's a beast. We missed you so much, we thought we'd have to come back. Much rust on it. Yeah, give it a wipe down and put some fresh. Yes, cool. <laughs> oh, Don't worry about you. dirty hands. Oh, <laughs> well, that looks like it's like a proper, it is. proper, proper wow. coffee wow. machine. Wow. Thank you. And we're having just mm. an instant coffee pack. Yeah. We don't have milk, we don't have nothing with it. Freshly yeah. brick. Oh, yeah, perfect. Nice. Okay, yep. Yeah, oh, go on. Yes. <laughs> nice, thank you. Mm, yummy. <laughs> I just stood on it. <laughs> hey. Oh wow. I didn't expect myself to do that with just by standing on it. Should I break the other side or you think it's okay? Yeah, probably best film it then. It's... I took the other side. The oh, yeah. Use the bike and then it's a bit more. Yeah, under the bike, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, yep. So that's a good one. Wow. Okay, a few more of those, just in case. Yeah. Oh, yep. And more. Yep. Yeah. Just tuck it under the sprocket there. Yeah. Way. Oh, look, they do the job. Just to get a little bit lower, so that I can get the lever in there. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay. That's it. It's putting the bar to the limit. <laughs> I was bending it. It should be loose enough, I would have thought. Yeah! Yay. Okay, I will lift this one up. Yep. And you can try to get it, yeah? Yep. It's just for the cell up Oh, wow! There we go! <laughs> it looks old, doesn't it? <laughs> it looks pretty rusty, yeah? Try to find oh, where wow. that nail is. Yes, yeah, here! Yeah. Oh. oh! We got the nail! <laughs> <laughs> Wow! Yes, better than your hand. Oh, tell me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, I can see that. It's definitely this one. Okay, I'll here. just turn this off then. Okay. Like that. And then just rub it on. Okay. Twilight tubeless tires now. Yeah. Push it in. Yep. See if there's any bubbles coming. You'll, you'll see bubbles come straight okay. away if there's any. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Roughly round about there is where the patch is, isn't it? It's looking good. There's nothing coming out there. No, that looks good. Yeah, we're almost there. Yeah, there we go. There you go. That's just what it says on the tin. Pushing the tire back on. Okay. Oh wow, do you think Obviously, the, the more you can get on without using the levers. Wow, yeah. It's just safer, isn't it? Oh, you've got quite far. Wait a second. Yep. <laughs> it's just the... I will get to the point where... <laughs> yeah. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Whoa! Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Never go on that easy, trust us. No. <laughs> so the solution is to hit it with a hammer. Yeah. yeah. Hammer works on everything. Is it 18? 18? 18. 18 psi. <laughs> we are back up and running. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Try to go straight. Oh, wrong way around. Wrong way <laughs> there we go. Charlie is back up and running. Ready to rock and roll again. Got rid of one pesky nail. 
and we're ready to go. Thank you so much. <laughs> bye bye. Bye, Graham. Thank you. There we go, one quick repair stop and we're back on the road. No, seriously guys, you saved our lives. Seriously, it was so, so kind of you to agreeing that we can come back and you help us out. You know, we just need somebody who's looking over what we're doing and give us a little bit of advice, you know? Yeah, and the fact that they were about to go out for a ride as well, but they stopped and came back to help us. It's just really kind, it's just really kind. Thanks guys. Enjoy your ride today. And uh, thanks to your help, we can enjoy ours and get back on the road. Yes! So it's about 20 miles to get back to the trail where we left off. And it's already 2.30, <laughs> so better hit the road, let's go! <laughs> Woo! Oh. Looks like there's a B&Q van on its side. Oh, they've gone in the ditch. We are finally back off-road after a little delay. Back on the bumpy roads. <laughs> but I do think though, before we go any further, I think we've got to have some lunch because it's been a long morning. So before we take on whatever's going on this way, let's have a cheese sandwich. Yummy, yummy, yummy cheese. Yummy, yummy, yummy cheese. Thank you. Yummy, yummy, yummy cheese. The time for dilly dallying is over. We've had a lovely cheese sandwich and peanut and cashew lunch. This is not bad. Oh, bit of a puddle Go around the edge. But yeah, it feels good to be back on trail, to be back tackling some more dirt roads. And look at this beautiful, beautiful surroundings to be doing it in. I mean, look at this. We are right here in the Peak District National Park. This is awesome. There you go. Thank you. Whoa, it's getting rocky here. Look at this. Going on the side to try and avoid the worst of it. Oh, yeah. Crazy. Oh, I don't think I can go on the side anymore. Nope. To go in the middle. The pebble road, hey? Yeah, this is a rocky road. It's a rocky road. Where do they get all the rocks from? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> they get them from the surrounding area and put them all here for us to ride over. Yay! <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. Nearly You're right. Nearly fell there. You didn't know. You didn't. You haven't fallen today. I don't think you even think you fell yesterday, did you? I don't remember. I don't remember what happened yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Where was I yesterday? Yeah. Which country was I in? Seriously. Okay, a little bit rocky, but that wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. No, after we have conquered Wales, <laughs> this is actually not too bad. Holy crap. Sticks. This road is just completely gone here now. The road is gone up. <laughs> there was a tarmac road at one point, but uh, can't see it anymore. Oh yeah, here's a small remain of the tarmac road. Whoop. <laughs> Wow, what a crazy track. Oh, oh Need to go road into uh, the stingers there. Okay, got a bit of a rocky downhill here. Look at this. Whoa, that is a little bit rocky. Just take it nice and easy. And just remember your training. Oh. <laughs> got everything about it. Oh shit. <sighs> Stay balanced, keep up bright, keep rolling down. That's it. Whoa, what is this place? No way. We've like entered a sort of almost like a quarry area. Whoa, have a look at this place. 
there's like a burnt out car there a burnt out car over there and another burnt out car over there this is a really crazy area it looks like an old quarry <laughs> oh what a place to ride oh yes this is what i'm talking about that's a nice trail such a nice trail seriously thank you ted for taking us along here finally a road where I can comfortably ride on. <laughs> yeah, and with a spectacular view like this, I mean, you can't ask for more than that, can you? No, no way. This is the kind of road that I was hoping for when coming through the Peak District. A little bit challenging, but not like too crazy, you know? Yeah, that's beautiful. Crossing the moorland on gravel tracks. Yeah, awesome. It's a shame that they don't like mark the off-road tracks based on like how difficult they are you know if it was like green for country road orange for this kind of thing and then red for Wales <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly we had so many gnarly trails all on the same day as well you go from like the most difficult uphill you've ever done in your life and then you go on a beautiful smooth gravel track with a nice view yes but yeah on the map you just can't see you just see this red line going through the countryside it's always like very difficult at the beginning then it's super beautiful and then it's very difficult at the end so how do you mark that yeah i know what you mean you just got to go through it all really haven't you apparently so if you want the good parts you've got to go through the bad parts yeah but we definitely found the good parts now here in the peak district oh yeah these tracks have been absolutely lovely very lovely i'll get it for you off you go no worries yeah no worries <laughs> beaten by a mountain biker wouldn't be the first time i just stopped here for a second and the bloody countryside police are here for me hey i'm allowed on this road guys all right they're cute or do you think they just came over to see that if I was all right? Well, thanks guys, I'm all right. <laughs> that was ridiculous. I was just smashing into the rocks. So I think that's about enough dirt road for today. It's currently 6.30. We've called up a couple of campsites in the area and there's one which is about 15 minutes that way, which is only 18 pounds a night. It's been a very long day, but we've still managed to make a bit of distance, even though we had to go back and get the bike fixed. So we've done pretty well, but it's time for a rest. <laughs> We made it just here. Hardhurst Farm. Hello, hi. We just called up uh, about half an hour ago with the with the one small tent. Yeah. yeah? Okay. Awesome. On the the next field. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Seems good to me. Good evening guys, we made it! Happy the life! And we set up our camp 
already here behind us and this campsite is really nice actually it's very big not very busy and we have nice hills around us so it's pretty cool i'm really happy that we managed to get as far as we did today we managed to take on quite a lot of the peak district national park get up onto the moors after a setback in the morning it was a really really nice day in the end thank you so much guys for helping us out and just looking over our shoulders if everything we are doing is actually the right thing the tire is still looking good yes our repair was successful yes, yes. <laughs> and that means we are ready to take on more trails in the peak district tomorrow exactly and that is from us today we hope you enjoyed the video if so please give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel share the video with your friends and family comment below and we will see you next time